Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here and it's Trashcraft Tuesday time so for today I'm just doing something a little different it still falls within the realm of trash uh, I'm going to be doing a bit with scraps because scraps in another person's language is rubbish, or trash so I'm going to work with them this is a project inspired, I saw it first on Gail Agostinelli's challenge sorry channel and then I went and watched Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah whose idea this was originally so I've watched both the videos and um, I thought it was quite a cool idea now what it is it's a cluster book that's what Tina has called it uh, so creating clusters to put on things that you actually create in these books uh, so these books are 12 by 12 scrapbook papers folded in half and then sewn down the center so I've done that much off camera now both Gail and Tina used double-sided scrapbook papers I don't have very many of those and I find them expensive um, and I've got a you know quite a reasonable amount of single-sided scrapbook papers so I'm using single sided because you actually only use one side and I don't care if the outside is white like it, it doesn't bother me um, I thought what I would do and I forgot to grab it out um, just give me a moment oops bang crash as I'd put a little bit of washi tape on the outside just so I know which one's which because I can't tell by the covers um, so this one is all neutral colors so I've got a couple of browns and gray and a greeny sort of color and a yellow pale yellow so this is my neutral one so I'm going to put a strip of neutral washi tape so I've got this ticket one did I just knock the camera a moment ago not sure and I'm going to wrap it around the spine and a bit on the front and back so I can tell when I pluck it off the shelf uh, do I want it in the middle at the bottom maybe sort of down a bit from the top whether I'm looking at the front the back or the side that it's the neutral one okay so just a bit of neutral washi tape there and then this one has got a bunch of different colors so there's a dark blue purple yellow pink and green so we want a colorful washi tape so I think this one stripes of different colors would be a good choice um, where's the end I do apologize if you can hear noises in the background they are busy concreting our footpath and driveway today that's all very exciting I've been in and out like nobody's business um, taking photos and stuff because it's quite fascinating but it can be quite noisy from time to time so I'm at the other end of the house to where they're working but we're in an old house and sounds travel so hopefully it's not too disturbing for you Gosh, that was an effort just trying to get my washi tapes back on the shelf okay so that's going to be just my little guide to which one's which when I'm grabbing to use clusters now I thought this was a good idea because I love making clusters and I've got a box full of clusters but it's just too difficult to get at and so I forget about them so I thought maybe this would be the perfect idea of doing clusters that are then readily available and I can flick through and pick out what I want and tear or cut it out and make and pop it on whatever I want to decorate so I've sewn this with brown cotton which is just what I had in my machine because it does not matter right so I'm going to just lay these side by side overlapping and I'm going to start building clusters with my scraps so I've got my mixed bag of scraps at the top that's any patterned coloured papers and then I've got another couple of bags one is strips and one is jelly prints so I thought well I can't have everything all over the place all at once so I am just going to start 
by grabbing grabbing the closest thing to me now you could sew these in the book um, if you wanted to once they're glued down you could take it to the machine and just fold back the pages that you didn't want in the way and then run it through the machine that way um, that's I, I believe perfectly doable but you don't have to sew them if you don't want to sew them um, then don't sew them or you could sew them when you tear them out or cut them out you could take them to the machine then if you wanted to do that or you could make them sew them then glue them in whichever way suits you so it's just a matter of building clusters that's all we're doing leaving whatever space you like around them for whether you're going to cut or tear so you need a little bit of room around them um, and you can make them whatever size whatever color you can add focal points or leave the focal points till you go to use them um, so I thought this was a really cool idea so I'm just going to start building and hope you come along and enjoy watching this and maybe you might do something similar too some of these I will cut. Actually, I think I want to tear with a ruler rather than cut because the others are torn with a ruler. The other sides on this. Um, you can make them straight, torn, cut with scissors. Whatever. Whatever. And I thought that just sounded like a really cool play, play day thing to do. I'll pop this one here actually. Um, I have got quite a strong headache today, so my thinking is um, not perhaps as good as what it, it could be. <laughs> I've had a few headaches lately, but today's is a little bit stronger than I would like. So I've taken some, some painkillers, and I'm hoping it's just going to go away, because I've got a lot to do. So we shall see. So forgive any um, lapses here and there, um, I'm not quite with it and then I'm distracted also by the work outside and um, it's, yeah, quite exciting. So they've emptied the first concrete truck already, um, it sounds like they, the next run might have arrived maybe and they're doing our driveway first, so they've done our driveway to the fence line and ran out of concrete. So. I assume the second one's arrived and that they're now pouring this the bit from the fence line to the edge of the road um, because I can't get out until it's safe to walk on it which is a little inconvenient but we knew this was going to happen so it's just I've got an Etsy order I need to post out and I can't get out of my property right now I, there's nowhere I can walk or get safely through to get out so hopefully later this afternoon otherwise it will have to be tomorrow so hopefully the person who ordered from my Etsy will understand the slight delay not that they'll know unless they watch my channel so I'm just like randomly building here sometimes I'm putting a second layer on just if I feel like that wants to go somewhere um, or it might be a whole new base and maybe I'll flick backwards and forwards I don't know I've got no real plan I'm just grabbing bits of paper and laying them down maybe I'll make this one geometrical and you don't need to completely glue the pieces down I am at the moment but you can just put a little bit of glue in depends what sort of style you want them and I don't mind mixing up torn and not torn cut another word is cut um, I just think it adds to the randomness of it Maybe I might make a small one over here. 
So maybe I'll just go to putting glue in the middle because then I'm not going to go through a ton of glue pages. That might be an idea. Maybe I'll do a longer one. And then I could actually just glue here if I'm not going over the edges. Maybe put this one up the top. So let's get the glue book out the way. Dispense with that. See, I'm already starting to, to mix it up a little bit. I think I just want this one. Or do I want it on here? Maybe on there. And then if I find that I want to add more glue when I go to use them, you can just go in and add a little bit of glue underneath. That's all good. Go back to the blue page. Maybe I'll make this one of its own. So grab some scraps. And even if you haven't got your book made, um, you could pause the video, go and make it and come back and then join me and do some collaging. Because essentially it is collaging. Um, or you can just grab a bit of paper and do this as well. And then you could keep that in a, um, a folder, you know, a clip a ring binder folder. You could put it in that or you could put it in one of the clear file pockets. Um, there's a lot of different ways you could store it, but I thought this was quite a cool way. So great idea, Tina. Not that I think Tina ever watches my video. She probably doesn't know it exists. Uh, so still building my uh, YouTube channel. And I do thank you all for being here. And I hope you really enjoy what I do. And stick around. Because I love having you here. It's much easier to tear if I don't have the glue stick in my hand. And I'm not worried about white edges or not white edges. I'm not fussy on that unless it's for a particular piece that I think will suit one way or the other. Um, these pieces I'm laying down here are just from the inside of an envelope. I'm not even sure how many layers I want to do. I'll go back to the pink page. Um, I don't know, this one's creased, so I am going to tear off the, the bit where it's damaged. Um, I don't think I have a preset amount whether I want to do two or three or four. I don't know. I think just whatever looks good. Bear in mind that the backing paper will be a layer in itself once it's torn or cut out with the cluster on top. Right. I've got a few scraps of the same sort of thing, so I'm trying to go for different things in my pile. So a little bit of shuffling going on but I'm trying not to be too picky just want some variety I usually do prefer a torn edge so I am taking the time here and there to be a bit more particular something's rattling on my desk I hope that's not annoying you I want a little bit more glue on that it's um, a thicker it's a scrapbook paper and it's thicker right back to the blue And then I want to do some more like book page and things on the neutral one. I haven't done very much on that yet, have I? But that's because I haven't been grabbing out scraps that kind of lend themselves to this. Here we go. Here's one here. This is scrapbook paper as well. Just getting rid of the shape that I don't like. Where it was punched. So how is everybody today? I hope you are well and having a fabulous day. It's Tuesday and I am filming this on the day because I did not get it filmed yesterday, being a public holiday yesterday. I just 
I wanted to but I was just tired and I just thought no I'm going to give myself a break and just not worry about recording ahead of the time um, just means that this will be up a bit later than probably be up a bit later than normal um, but that's okay at least it will get up there will be a video like that little bit popping up so glue it down and what else have I got to say had a really lovely Easter um, my hubby bought me uh, some ribbons before Easter some Easter ribbons pack of three and then um, was it Thursday evening or Saturday maybe it was Saturday um, Easter Saturday he went to the supermarket and everything was half price so he bought me some hessian ribbon that was in the Easter section and another twin pack of ribbon and all the ribbons are different so I've got lots of different um, ribbons Easter rib uh, like there's a bunny and an Easter egg ribbon and then there's a bunny ribbon and then all the others aren't Easter specific, like they're just pretty pastel patterns, um, not necessarily Easter related. So that's pretty cool. So he's just the sweetest. And we had a visit from the Easter Bunny, which isn't very common in our house, uh, aka my husband. So I hope, hope there's no children in the room with you. Um, so yeah, he treated us to... An Easter egg each, which was an Easter bunny, a kinder surprise one. So I've got a cute little bunny that came out of my kinder surprise. The sweet bunny. See, isn't it cute? It's a little game. You toss this ring around its head, but I'm not particularly into that. But I thought this is cute. And he got a monkey that holds a tree, but it doesn't balance very well. And I like my rabbit way better. So I think I won in the stakes of what was inside the, the Easter bunnies. That's a big one. And maybe we've got room for a small one up here. So that was a bit of fun. Nice to have a visit from the Easter bunny. Put that little scrap down there. Oops, I think I need the glue book for that one though. It's narrower than the glue stick. There we go. And this is a fun bit. Where do we want to put this bit? Maybe on a yellow. Is, I thought there was yellow. Hello. There we go. Yellow. And you can be as matchy matchy or unmatchy matchy as you want. Whatever floats your boat. Oops. And this is very satisfying dealing with my scraps. This is a cute fun bit. Where would I like to go with him? It's kind of not really blue. Let's go on purple. It's a little bit damaged, but because it's just very thin paper, it will glue down fine won't be a problem oops if I can get it off the glue stick I've been working at the bottom just because it's easier to reach so I'm going to put this bit at the top and get rid of the cat fur we don't need that in our clusters and very sad yesterday I was doing some painting for my 100 day project and I accidentally dipped my sleeve in the paint and then in Somewhere in a long way before I realised I'd done that, I'd dragged my sleeve across the front of my hoodie. So now I've got paint on my hoodie and it was one of my good ones. So that was a little annoying. But, oh well, you get that. Just want that torn as well. This is a bit of a magazine image, which I liked. Interesting colour and texture. I will take it over to my glue book. 
because it's a wee bit narrower in places. That's fun. I like that. And let's use this other bit so we can say we've used up another scrap. Cool, liking that. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, some bright yellow. Let's go back to this page. And I might make this a base, I think. Sounds like there's a truck backing up outside. I wonder if that's the other concrete truck. I really don't know. And I'm very curious as to what's going on. As to whether the other concrete truck has arrived or not. Super curious. So I've been taking progress photos. And I'm dying to know what I'm missing. But I can't just stand out there forever either. And it's quite cold outside. There is supposed to be rain, but they're hoping it will hold off till a bit later in the day. Because rain on concrete, fresh concrete, is not great for its curing. Getting rid of those, being ruthless. Yep, that helps tone down that bright yellow a little bit. can see the text through it but by the time it's laid up it'll be all good what else we got here some blue stripy paper bag that's what this is from and you can tell I like all sorts of shapes And I think this might be the last layer on this one, apart from some sort of focal point. So I'm not going to worry about focal points at this stage. If I feel so inspired at some point, I might go add them or I might and most likely leave them till I use them. So I know sort of how bulky I want it or what feature I might want to match a journal. Turn that round, go that way. Okay. So far there's not a huge dent in my scraps, I must say. But it's a process. And it's helping. Every little bit that I stick down is helping. I'm probably making these on the whole maybe larger than what I would normally do but that's okay you need all sorts of different sizes this is a failed print printable one of mine that definitely is nowhere near like what it should be it's a good way to use up those things as well and that's a lot of what Tina was using was her um, test prints that failed that turned out wrong um, you know when the printer misbehaves or you decide it's the um, the one that you're trialing is this you know not how you want it so and I create printables so I have those as well it's um, sort of more purpley but it's also got stripes through it where the printer was not happy I think this is the old printer too um, that I bought second hand and from the start it never performed well and then it got to the point where 
it ran out of one of the colours of ink and then I found that the inks weren't replaceable. Um, they no longer make them and so I was quite disappointed because I was kind of quite misled in the printer. But I didn't pay a lot for it and I, you know, it's like, well, I, I did use it for a, a bit. So I don't think it owed me anything and the person who sold it to me doesn't owe me anything any, either. So that's when I got my EcoTank printer after that. And I'm quite shy now of secondhand printers. Um, yeah, you just never know. Just never know. And you can often pick them up free too. People, you know, don't want the printer. They've upgraded or whatever. And there's not a lot of money in secondhand printers. Right, do I want to mix up some colours instead of going very matchy-matchy here? Oh, we could put it on the purple. This brings out more of the purple, actually. And then we'll make another little one up beside that one. And this corner lifting is annoying me where it's been creased, so I'm just going to glue it down. And then it's not going to annoy me anymore. Oops. Don't perhaps want that much white on the edge. So let's get rid of that and take it down a bit. Right. Let's go for something a bit different. Oh, that's pretty, but I think I can use that some other place, so I'm not going to rip into that at the moment. Here's a fun strip. Um, where what? Could actually put it in the neutrals. Let's break it down a little bit. Back to the glue book because it's quite narrow. that one I think just trying to vary them too so they all look different just trying to dig for some of the smaller bits here oops sorry reaching what have we got here so we've got another bit of a printable that's a bit of bokeh not sure where that came from. I know I printed it out. I just don't know whether it was one of my photos or what it was. She might put that there. I think it was, I needed a picture of Boca for something. A collage or something. Can't remember. Anyway, not important. It's quite nice there. Right, and I think that one's done too. It's got a few layers. It's got one, two, three, four layers plus the backing. So, yep, that's probably adequate. This is a bit of book page from an old book, black and white illustration. So maybe I'll have a look at a different, maybe here. Let's go with that. And it's got a different on the other side. Get rid of this scrap will be good. Now which side do I want? The darker side or this side? I think I want the darker side. Well, it's kind of darker. It's kind of lighter. Um, but I think texturally it's more interesting. So let's pop that one down there. 
Right, I do want to use some of my other scraps too. So we've used quite a little, you know, good number of those. Let's look at some jelly. Oops, not that one. Grabbing an empty bag doesn't do it. Let's look at some jelly print scraps. So this is actually a roll off sheet, this one. So maybe we want to go on our yellow page. That's pretty. Roll off pages from jelly printing are some of my favourite. I think they just create really pretty pieces. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, do a few faces. Bit down there. Oops, find my glue up. Gosh, I need work on speaking properly that all came out as one word. What they're saying was glue up instead of glue up. Speak properly. I get a bit um, lax, I think. I just get comfortable and sort of say the weirdest things sometimes. You know, the, the sounds that come out of my mouth are like, what? sideways I think so that's a piece of jelly print scrap used up awesome what else would we want to play with how about this bit so it's got pink and blue on it so how about we put some on the blue page also been um, die cut or punched I'm not sure which it's quite large so I think maybe it was um, die cut or maybe it was hand cut right so a couple of little scraps here so this will be the last bit on this one that's cool little bit there oh there's lots of men's voices outside I went to shout I think to hear over the sound of the various beeps and whirs and equipment being used maybe that one Okay, and I want to put some on the pink as well. Bring some blue into this. Nice pop of blue. And if you like some anywhere else. bit on the purple cool okay here we go there's another wee strip off the white don't know what this paper is but it feels really nice it's very smooth yep put a bit of blue on there as well take 
take off that straight edge. I was saying before I wasn't being particular, but you know, as the process goes on, I tend to get a bit more particular than what I started out as. I quite like that there. And back it up there. Right, okay, now I've the other bag I've got is strips. So this bag of strips. So how about we do some strippy ones? Um, let's grab out a few pieces to work with. Oh, that's not a strip. But I guess I can stay in there. Because I'm not here to sort out my bags. I'm here to use up some bits. That's a bit of wallpaper. Printable. And how about a bit of this um, edge from ring binder page. Um, spiral bound, sorry, not ring binder. Spiral bound. Right. So this is sort of light cardstock and would be good in our neutral one. I'm going to, I think, go different clusters with these strips. So they'll be a different style. Right, this wallpaper is sort of creamy and yellow. Actually, I might use um, tacky glue for this, just to make sure that it holds down. I guess if things fall out of your cluster book, it doesn't really matter, um, because they're just bits of scraps, so you can just rebuild them or pop it back somewhere doesn't even matter if it goes back in the same place that you had it originally. Oops, got some bits hanging on there. And I'm going to use tacky glue too um, because it will just be a mission to use a glue stick on all these little humps and hollows. Let's just put a bit of tacky glue on there. Oh, that's cute. I like that just like it is. Right, maybe we'll make a tall one. Shall we make a tall one? Why not? And these are, this is textured, so I'm using tacky glue for this as well. And I suspect a lot of these uh, strippy ones I'll use tacky glue for. Just because they're different materials that are within this bunch. So I'm gluing this on the neutrals. But these are still neutrals. I think they're still neutral. Um, sort of pastel colours. Oops. That's why I did that yesterday too. I glued up a bit and then dropped it down my front. And of course it landed glue side against my top. <sighs> so this top is definitely not good anymore. Between the glue and the paint and whatever else. Like that there. That's nice. Right, I've got a nice bit of gold and white stripe here. Like that on that, or on something else. Oh, I like it there. 
let's put it there this one I will glue stick maybe we'll put it at the top let's put a bit of that So yes, I hope the concrete's going to be okay for me to walk on by tomorrow anyway. Um, because I, yeah, because it comes up into our driveway, it's it's quite a reasonable distance to traverse. Um, and I can't. We've got a very low front fence, but I can't even just like hook over the fence because I'm on crutches. So that's why they're doing ours first to give it the best time to cure. Um, for me to be able to walk on and things like that so they've been very very considerate very thoughtful um, but the fact remains that while it's fresh I can't go anywhere so interesting interesting it is right I'm gonna pop this right here I'm gonna mix up my strips and my and my others in terms of what page they're on Maybe I'll put this one on here. Because this is something that could go on a strip cluster or any other cluster. Because it's a bit of both. Oh, my coffee is going to be getting cold. I've kind of forgotten it since I turned on the camera. Not unusual, is it? It's got a little bend in it, that one. Let me have a wee sip. Yeah, it's almost cold. Okay. Let's do another tall one. Put this on one cluster. I like these strippy tall ones. They're really good for the sides of pages. Should possibly start with a bigger piece to form a bigger base. But we've got we've got this. This is our base, so not the end of the world. Mm pirate scrapbook paper that was from the playful days journal that i did a while back now here's a printable this is actually on cardstock that i printed out so you don't do the backs of these you just do one side so if you do use double-sided paper, then you use the side that you want to to create on. Um, not really feeling that on any of the colours. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it on the sort of paler pink side where it's more white than the deeper pink. Sorry, probably completely off camera then. I mean, this is another bit of cardstock that I have bubble dyed. Bubble food colouring dyed. Yep, I quite like that actually. This could be quite a simple little cluster this one it helps tie in the back base color too it somehow makes this work better is what I'm trying to say yeah I like that that's cool I think I'll be leaving that one as is okay and then I've got this yellow so let's Short bit or the long bit? I think the long bit. And it's just copy paper, so we'll do 
close that. Right, so that's that's this process. This process is just building and building and building and creating your clusters. And so in a very short space of time, I'm going to pop that there. Um, we have already created quite a number of clusters. And we've been here, oh, quite a while actually. Around about three quarters of an hour. Gosh, time flies when you're having fun. So I think that's a good place to call it a day for this video. Have my drink because I need to keep my fluids up to help with my headache. So there we go. There's my cluster box. So we got a few bases done in here. On the yellow. A few on the purple. And the blue. So lots more building to be done. And did we do any in the back? Oh yeah, we did the pink ones here. So the idea too is that you work on the flat side. So in the front you're working on this side because it's flat. And then on this this half you're working on this side. Okay. And then you as it fills up you're not working over a hump. That is the idea. So that's that one. And then we didn't actually do a lot in our neutral one, but we did do some. So my little bits of washi tape for help with my filing system. So I've got one little start up there. I've got a few single starts there. And then we've got these few in the middle. And I don't think I did any. No, I didn't do any further back. And I didn't use any book page either. But never mind. I mean, you know what to do. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm sorry that it's a little bit different video today, but I hope you still enjoyed this project and inspired maybe to give it a go. Super easy, great way to bust your scraps to make clusters in a very storable form. So these can just sit on my bookshelf and be easy to grab rather than the box that mine are currently in, which are very difficult. And I'm not going to worry about sticking them in here. Uh, Gail went through and stuck all her existing clusters into her books. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I have, I mean, I haven't got the volume that Gail had anyway. So I'll just have to remember from time to time that that's where they are and slowly work through them. And in the meantime, I'll have fun building these and then using them. So that's it for today. I will see you again for the next video. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.